is up, loud and proud crowd. Welcome back to another video here. We're actually in Fishers, Indiana right now. We actually have to wash the car here, and then after we wash the car, we're gonna go look at some more cars. At some point in this video, we are going to be headed back up to Fort Wayne to see my dad's new car. We'll go over the whole story, but let's just say after he test drove mine, he made a purchase and he loves it. So we're gonna get back to you guys in Fort Wayne later on today. So we're actually at a new Dodge dealer right now. Dodge, Ram, Jeep, all that, all that stuff. Uh, we're not here to look at Jeeps. We're actually here looking at some pickup trucks. And let me show you one of my favorites. And of course, I'm a little bit biased to it because, well, I had one just like it. But let me show you here. It's actually, oh, I really want it. Right over there. So here it is. It's actually a 2020 Ram 2500, but it's the limited trim, just like the dually that I had. Everything, everything is the exact same in terms of spec, other than, well, it's not a dually. It's not a 3500, and it's got the Ram boxes, and I think that's the only like real, real difference. But other than that, I mean, the truck is dang near identical. But it's a, uh, it's pretty sweet. It's really sweet. They've also got a bunch of other trucks here. They've got, I mean. Uh, they got this mega cab here, which is sweet. It's all color match factory and stuff like that. But they've also got this uh, Laramie here. They're both Laramies, but that one's a just a crew cab with a Ram boxes and crap on it with a bunch of chrome. But the interior on this truck is actually really cool. It kind of reminds you of like the white limited Ram 3500's interior that comes with like that tannish, whitish interior. That's what that truck has in it. Very, very similar. Not exactly the same, but very similar. It's actually really sweet. Anyways, that's all we're doing is just driving around, looking at some trucks. his new car a lot of people are gonna be asking some questions here so we're just gonna go through some basic ones so you can answer them so you ended up liking the test driving experience <laughs> we're guessing just a little bit okay so he, he did like the test drive experience and it took him about 30 minutes after we went inside to contact the dealership locally and it's like did yeah respond quickly yeah 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 because you know mom doesn't do this a lot but she's like you need to just buy one to get it out of your head you're like okay i guess i can do that <laughs> so <laughs> the dealership was uh closed for memorial day weekend and so they had left on friday night they were gone saturday sunday monday so i was all over texting facebook messaging whatever saying i want an appointment scheduled first thing when they opened on tuesday and i went in there and they knew i was a serious buyer so here done we, deal here we go so he ended up getting a 392 scat pack shaker the shaker was a must for me yeah i mean they're cool without it but the shaker was really something that i i felt like if i'm gonna do it i want to do it the way that i'm most drawn to which is i yeah. want to see that thing moving when you accelerate yeah so it's pretty cool and, and i told him i said before buying this you know for the car giveaway i said that is my dream spec setup that I've always talked about how like I want the red interior, the shaker hood, the challenger, not the charger, like that's what I wanted, like that spec. And the black yeah. just, it just looks so classy and black, it's everything, nice it just spec. looks so good with the black and red. First question is gonna be, what made you decide on this versus that car? You kind of talked about it in the previous video at Dale's, you're like, you know, that car's fun, but this is more up my alley and you said you were gonna test drive one, clearly that went well. <laughs> yeah, really I've drove my brother-in-law's 392 before. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Basically about a week ago, that's a lot of fun too. But for me being a truck guy for the last, I don't know, a couple decades, yeah. I wanted to basically just, I didn't want that, that's too much, it's not, I couldn't say too much power, but it's more than what I would probably ever use. This is yeah. honestly probably more than I would ever use. Um, and so I decided, you know what, if I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna go with this first to see if I like it. 
And then that way down the road, if I would feel the need for even more power, at least there's somewhere to go. So. Yeah. Otherwise, there's, well, I guess you don't really have to go back because they keep making a more powerful car. Right. I was going to say, like, that was like the biggest, baddest thing in 2015. And now they make so many cars that are just faster. You know what I mean? There's so yeah. many faster vehicles now, but like, they're just, they're just cool. They're just classy. But this is my first American muscle car. Yeah. I yeah. had a 1972 Chevy with a 327, you know, 411 gears, a fast truck. I've had diesels, you know, from nasty red in the back to my Ford, but this is my fast first fast car. Oh, and yeah. it's fun to drive. Yeah. I've only taken it out a few times so far, but it's fun to drive. So what are the main things? You, you had told me that you got some stuff done to it before you mm -hmm. picked it up. You said new tires. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they had, um, they just got this car in on Thursday. They had it Friday. It hadn't even been gone through yet. And so when I looked at it, I noticed right away that the two back tires were probably factory Goodyears that were bald like crazy. The two front tires were some cheaper brand. So I, did, I wanted all new tires. So they gave them to me, you know, four new ones and I got them at cost. And then the other thing they did was they just washed up, detailed it. There was a noise in the rear end. And so because it was still under dealership warranty, they fixed that. And then there was also one little computer code that came up with something for the radio, which they had, they fixed that as well. So for the most part, I mean, the thing's like spotless on the inside, yeah. it drives great and couldn't be happier. Yeah. So I'm sure they're going to want to hear it start up right now Should and go for then? a ride. Oh yeah. We, we got, we got we to do it. Disappoint. I was kind of curious too. I didn't know how fast car drivers dress. So I just went with the pink shirt. I guess that, <laughs> with that's the salmon color with the shirt. shirt and, you know, sure. It actually might've been a white shirt that got mixed with a pink, with a pink could be. piece of clothing from mom's wardrobe. Sounds good. We're gonna go for a little drive. It passes the sound test. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds good. So we're gonna get buckled up here. So I was trying to play with some of the, yeah. There's so many different screens. Super track. If I go to the super track pack, let me see if I can figure out where, where it was before. Performance oh, pages. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I like this brushed this brushed aluminum look. Sears has that carbon look. Okay, so it comes with this, and what I was noticing is like with timers, it gives you like, if you wanted to do a tour, it gives you almost like a printout from a drag strip. Um, it gives you a G-force, but I like the engine part of it, because when, you, when you're starting to, to go, oh wow, it'll tell you like where you're at in terms of your oil pressure, your horsepower. So if you're going down the road, road cruising, you know, 45 miles an hour, on, you know, with, with cruise control on, barely uses anything, but as soon as you give it some throttle, oh, it jumps up then right away. And then when you give it some throttle, you have to check out the shaker. Oh, it's shaking. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's really <Yeah>. cool. <laughs> that's so neat. I've never, like, I've always wanted one with the shaker hood, but I've never been in one, so this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be fun. Are you still on cloud nine? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I can't. This thing must have a fuel leak though, because it, it was full and it's already half tank and I've only drove it twice. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> 440 horse, wait, what? It said it used 440 horsepower <laughs> when you pinned it. That's crazy. I'll, I'll see it on here and it'll, it'll tell me, but. 438. <laughs> that's, that's fun. That's, that's so fun. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I like this, this. I wonder if you can see this on mine. I don't know if you can or not. I haven't seen a setting like that, but that's cool. Horsepower, torque, which gear you're in, your oil pressure, all that stuff live. Yeah, I didn't realize there were so many different options too under the performance end of here. Yeah. Like from zero to 60, zero to 100, like there's- Quarter mile time. Your response time when you're trying to get off of a line and practice. Yeah, that's crazy. For being the guy people made fun of for how slow you drove to like I'm afraid of this. What's hey, that? that's like the old truck you yeah, had. That's that's a little older, but yeah, same style. Yeah. So. That's like the truck he was just talking about. <laughs> You're just trying to 
see how much horsepower you can use. <laughs> Just watching the gauge, he's like, God dang it. Get a little bit higher. I have to keep slowing down because it gets up there so quick. Yeah, you're not used to that. <laughs> I mean, we're not dogging on the Ford, but you know, well, I mean, the first gen. There you go. Yeah, first gen tops out, a, the tag doesn't go over 80. <laughs> That's it's a dog. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's, it's a it's dinosaur. It's cool, but it's a dinosaur. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can find that setting in my car. Hey, you don't have a launch button? I have a, you can go into a launch screen. I don't have a launch button. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Why'd well, I have to do that? I wanna get a refund. <laughs> go to the SRT, let's just see. I don't have nav either. Really? Well, I don't think so. I'd have you to find should. it. Oh, you, you should have Uconnect. Which will be you just plug oh, your phone just in and it'll, phone, just, yeah. it'll okay. just transfer over to the screen. So there's track, sport, custom, I don't know what that means. Auto. I don't understand. Wait, perf gauges, what does that mean? Please wait. Performance gauges, I bet this is it. You think this is it? Yeah. It's got a racetrack. You know, if there is one more thing that I would love on my car, wide body. Yes. That would make it perfect. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. See, well, you got a dyno right there. So horsepower, you can add widgets. Uh, G-forces, current gear, timers, gauges, G-force, engine. Oh, there's okay, your, there it is. yeah, there's your thing. Do we want to go for a ride and check it out? <laughs> <laughs> You're a better cameraman. I wonder if I should drive. <laughs> Let me get my safety belt on here. Dang it, I hate being the best. Is it really that nerve wracking? No. These are dirt roads, by the way. Yeah. That's weird. Air intake. Engine. Okay. Oh, well. That's weird. Okay. Okay, so the horsepower is down here then. Okay. That's... Okay. <laughs> 500 and some horsepower. Great shot right here. So I use my real eyes. <laughs> well, look, it's slowing down. <laughs> this is stupid. Cool. Do they make the Hellcat with a shaker? No, unfortunately. Well, with that super in the supercharger on sitting right on top of it. It's <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> Slowing down. <laughs> it's a good thing this is a 70 mile an hour road. Yeah. I think you got up to 72. Uh, yeah. Well, I do have those fancy gauges on mine too, I guess. I mean, I guess I'm not that surprised it should have had them. Man, that's just so much fun. It is just a lot of fun. And this is coming from two guys that are not car guys. Like, I was never a car guy. He's never a car guy, but like, whole new appreciation. I see a changed I'm man. A car guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not a car guy until you drive one and then you just you just fall in love with it. It's yeah. crazy. It's a lot of fun. Give me a couple of weeks with this thing and then we can start doing some other timings. Yeah. yeah. I think we'll have a little bit better idea how to handle. That thing's freaking scary though. <laughs> you're roasting the tires when we came around the corner. Oh man. That's a blast right there. That yeah. is a blast. Any last words to the fans, the fam? We are giving away this car. 
So that starts Friday. That's super cool. That starts Friday. But you know what else is going on right now is the 2018 6 7 Cummins giveaway for the white fourth gen. That giveaway ends on Thursday, June 4th. So if you haven't done so yet, hit the link down in the description below. Go to lmpgear.com because every $5 is 20 times the entries to win for the final few days. And you could be taking home a 2018 6.7 Cummins with hardly 11,000 miles on it and $5,000 cash. Especially like you said, the last guy who won the first gen he bought it with a... $12 worth of merchandise. <laughs> and he crazy. left with a stack of cash, bunch of 20s, 50s, and 100s. Yeah. And the, the guy who got your Longhorn, the red one redone. You bought a beanie. Was one beanie hat. So that's cool because. And you know, and the thing is too, he's like, I thought this would be a good thing to put in the video because he's like, just to show your fans, like it's it's not a matter of who spends the most money, you know, yeah. just to give some I mean, people some hope. of course go up, but still yeah. it's like, yeah. it goes both ways. You've had guys who've spent a lot and then you've had guys who spent hardly anything and they still go. Yeah, like we had bucks. a winner who spent 500 and then we had a winner who spent Less than fifteen dollars, you know. We've had everything in between. Hmm. Yeah, just crazy. But uh, well, I'm happy with this for now. Yes, but I have a feeling like most other things, like first gens are cool, and then they make bigger trucks, and then they make bigger trucks. Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but it could be pretty exciting. Kidding. We might be both getting Corvettes in a couple of years. <laughs> right. I would like to drive one of those. Yeah, th that would be get cool. Your hands on one, but. We should make a video of uh, going and test driving a C8 Corvette. The mid-mount engine that, that that would be really awesome anyways guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys like dad's new car if you do make sure you give him a follow on the gram so you can see pictures of it and you leave a like on this video and maybe we'll buy more cool cars <laughs> <laughs> video anyways guys thank you so much do not forget subscribe to the prosperity driven apparel co youtube channel follow them on instagram follow me on instagram go to the website to enter to win the truck but for the most part it's going to be on that youtube channel and that lnp underscore speed instagram account and the prosperity driven apparel co facebook page where all the car giveaway stuff happens i'm pretty much only really shouting it out a bunch on here for the first one but after that it's pretty much going to be like its own thing and you're not going to see a lot of you know things around those giveaways on this channel but anyways guys Thank you so much for all the support. Love you guys. Leave a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Guys, this is your last reminder to get your entries in towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash. So what are you waiting on? Grab your entries to win this truck because right now is our best deal. $5 gets you 20 entries. And this giveaway ends on June 4th at 11.59 p.m. So hit the link, grab your entries, win a truck.